You can jump from top to top and you don't have to do it linearly. Okay. Just be intuitive about it. And let me so I I had well maybe we should wait I should wait till you start it because maybe this can be uh, I should take some more line too. Yeah. <laughs> don't I have good control of my intake of substances? Don't you think I'm don't you think I don't like let myself be possessed by substances? I mean I, Yeah. Even with wine, you know is only worth what you can trade for it. Mm-hmm. Money is only a, a, rent, a value of which certain substances or material objects are valued by their sellers. And you have to decide what kind of wisdom and thriftiness that you gain as you gain more and more capital in your, in your life. Is it on? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. Okay. What do you think? Oh, you think? What are the, What are these? Those are topics for your interviewing. Right? Oh, okay. You can choose them at random, like 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 cut up method, like burrows. Like choose them at random. And just move towards them and ask me a question. It doesn't even have to do with the topic. It can be some association you have with the mm -hmm. So what do, you, what do you think about the House of Gaga? Well, is, it, is the camera on? I think so. Okay. Well, the House of Gaga, lowercase h-a-u-s, is brilliant. Obviously, this is a bunch of groupies of Gaga who I consider to be Venus incarnate. Well, not that she's a total avatar, but she's you know, as my as my qualification of dealing with being, you know, reincarnated as a brilliant spirit, you have to say you're a quasi avatar. So this is my ploy or my begging of saying, please let me and the cameraman Annie McCoy be member Minneapolis members of the House of Gaga and give makeup advice to Gaga so she can further enlighten all humanity and use her positive vibe in order to create explosions and whatever, bathos, a Greek, term, a Greek concept within the nervous system of humanity. You know, that is my, my well, I want to be how, I want to be a member of House of Gaga. I'm like, Carl with a K, my younger brother, five years younger, has on his cell phone, he's, he has when I call up, it automatically responds the 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 uh, me mechanization as Lord Guru. So mm. I think of that as an astute observation of myself as the underground president of the Lady Gaga fan club. The end of question. So next question, please. All right. Well, more Gaga. What uh, what about the Alejandro? Well, uh, I would have to respond intuitively with reciting the the base cosmic base um, of the song Bloody Mary, which is her best song on her pre on her latest album, far outstripping just dance. Ga 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 Well let me address that directly. That was just an aside. Um that Alejandro is a brilliant video, probably the most brilliant I love her makeup in that video. And I really like the um, I can't think of the word right now for whatever reason, but the the what is it, Andy? Let's have a dialogue here. The what is what is it called? Dance dancing the choreography. Choreography. Of all yep. under is brilliant. And the tit gun, the tit machine guns on all under just hit the spot for yeah. everybody. So Even though Austin Powers used that. Austin Powers? Yeah. He used the uh, booby guns. Well, I have to respond by saying one of my first mentors, MC Edwards, told me this joke back in like 1985. She said, Do you smoke after sex? And the answer is, of course. <laughs> you smoke after sex. Obviously, would be my answer. You smoke after sex. I, I can't remember the answer, but. Um, 
Well, she probably saw the Austin Powers video, but reinvented it or reconfigured it in her own way. Mm -hmm. um, could we have the next question? Um, I can't really read these. You can't read my linear B rating. Something about David. David. Well, let me see. Let me see. Cocaine. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Gaga acting personas. Austin Gaga. Alejandro abstraction. Cocaine and David. Oh, okay. Well, it's my opinion that Gaga maybe like freaked out or scared of being addicted to cocaine. And just think of David Bowie. Just think of the control he had of his physiological functions. So, Gaga, you could probably start some cocaine sometime and you just find uh, that's the end of that subject. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Um, so, how how is looking for grants going? Well, I wanted a big Gaga as I am a poor, unbeknownst stranger in the streets to bequeath me like a thousand dollars a month. But, but I don't know. I just thought maybe that she had gone on the Sh Alien Showreel site, and I must point to this fact right now that she invented um, transmission Gaga vision. And I just synchronicity wise, or from her exact experience, maybe she stole from me, and this is why it's a bad advance. Onyx Technovision. Hmm. You know, I said, that's, you know, I I wrote her a little note. I said, Gaga, you're the Naz, signifying David Boyd. You, mm -hmm. He was the Naz with God given ass. Mm -hmm. And I thought that might have kind of catched your eye. So. Just the fact that synchronicity came into play, and even if she didn't go on my site on MySpace, which has diminished in many ways, that she might have stolen or borrowed, let's say borrowed the idea from me. So let's say she owed me a thousand dollars a month for, for 12 months. That's what I think. Hmm. Yeah. And I'll spend it wisely on red wine. Red wine. Gaga, uh, uh. right from Just Dance, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm true to Gaga vision. Gaga vision. Yeah. I don't know. What's the second to last one? I can't. Hand me the end rule. Okay. Quantum field, re quantum fractal, fractal reality. Hmm. Okay. So explain that. Okay. Um. Well, if anybody with any sense in their head could check out Onyx Sinclair Blaylock, which is my pseudonym's music, Warlock Inc. Um, not SoundCloud, but Reverb Nation, our White Magic Trans period from about three, four months ago. One could, or any of our other music, one could analyze fractal reality or the continued psychedelic infatuation into the human nervous system. And I think Gaga uses that within all her hooks. I think there's a lot of fractal reality and a lot of variation that one could create off of that fractal perception. Mm. Um, and we have that akin in our, in our parallel projects, Gaga and I. So I, I hope to reveal that to her in this interview as uh, a reality, so-called, whatever that means, realityism, you know. Mm. It's too close. I, I really, guard. I like my, my thing about the devil is like, I don't believe in the devil, but my, my rhetoric for that, my rhetoric for that, the devil is a concrete sage. In other words, beware of concretism. Mm. You know, just because you're leg bones are made of bone and you walk outside and you fear the worst doesn't mean that you're going to be attacked by a big stick and mm -hmm. your legs broken. So I regard against concretism, aka realityism, per se, as a dismissible hypothesis of how to live your life or create a more separate life for you giving the best of all realities. Okay, so there is about seven or eight other questions on my list. Well, uh, you wrote abstraction. 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 I would say auditioning for the House of Gaga. I don't say spiritual, although I would admit that everyone has a spiritual dimension. I would put it that way. So I don't say everyone is their spirit, but that 
spirit is a can you can say you can just say abstraction rather than spiritualism or having a spirit or being motivated by the spirit you can say that's abstraction and that's easily generalized and applicable and projected upon other reality and in that way you go through your your day and do no harm to other people while you throw back they're thinking about Jesus or abstraction or religion maybe or whatever they're thinking of it on that side of the tracks and you, you just think oh I'll, energetically you know I'll throw back an abstraction at them and that will enlighten them so hmm. that's about the end of that subject matter um well you can um uh, what, what about you just give me an old, you know, old, old. maybe I didn't print so well um, well no it's just that a lot of them are similar Bloody Mary right Grants Newman Already did grants. Oh, you did grants. Mm -hmm. Abstract and Elementary House of Gaga, acting, personas. Well, let's, let's concentrate on acting slash personas. Okay. I like Gaga mostly because not, not necessarily her amazing phenotype or her corporeal form manifesting a superior reality for me, but because of her intellect. I think she is brilliant. Every different makeup job and every different hairstyle or wig she wears, she has a different persona. So I think she is a consummate actress. Hmm. I enjoy the acting behind the image and the persona. So that's about the end of that. So. Um. So have another cigarette, I would say. Yeah. Gaga, you really have to smoke at least one cigarette a day. You really should smoke it at 9 p.m., wherever time zone you're in, just to prevent confusion and elevate the dopamine level within your brain, which will cause you to have more ecstasy in your corporeal form. So that's what I have to say about that. Excellent. Thank you.